Yo what's up everyone, welcome back. This time we will discuss the differences between engines with different numbers of cylinders. With the same engine capacity, what is the difference between one cylinder, two cylinders and four cylinders? Which is better? Let's discuss. If we talk about which is better, actually each type of engine has its own characteristics. So, engines with few cylinders and engines with many cylinders have their own advantages and disadvantages. To make it clearer, let's discuss it in detail through this animation. The first difference can be seen from the piston diameter. The engine with few cylinders certainly has a larger volume per cylinder compared to an engine with many cylinders. So, automatically, the piston diameter for an engine with few cylinders is larger. Then, what is the effect of this difference in piston size? The smaller piston is lighter, so it is easier to reach high RPM when compared to a heavier piston. This makes the top speed on a four-cylinder engine higher when compared to a two-cylinder or one-cylinder engine. Then, for its weaknesses, engines with smaller cylinder volumes have smaller torque, even though they have many cylinders. Why is that? This is because cylinders with smaller volumes have shorter piston heights or strokes. Meanwhile, the length of the piston stroke is influenced by the length of the small end on the crankshaft. Simply put, the larger the cylinder volume, the longer the distance between the small end arms. Well, the length of this arm really affects the torque produced. The torque formula itself is force multiplied by moment. So, with a short, small end arm, the torque produced is smaller, even though it has four cylinders. So, what is the effect of this torque? So, if the engine has small torque, the motorbike will have a little trouble going uphill. In addition, the acceleration is also weak. However, even though the torque is low, the power is crazy. Power itself is the energy boost to make the crankshaft rotate as fast as possible. This can happen if an engine has a short piston stroke. So, a four-cylinder engine with a short piston stroke diameter will produce higher power when compared to a two-cylinder engine with the same capacity. Now, the fuel consumption. Which is more efficient? With the same capacity, the fuel consumption should also be the same. But it turns out, an engine with many cylinders consumes more fuel. What is the reason? As I said earlier, this engine with many cylinders does have crazy power. However, the torque is more wasteful. So, to spew out that crazy power, the engine must continue to be revved. Because it is revved too much, gasoline consumption automatically becomes more wasteful. This has been tested on the Kawasaki ZX25R with a combination riding, producing an average fuel consumption of 19.8 kilometers per liter while a 250cc two-cylinder motorbike is generally around 25 kilometers per liter. Maybe that's all the brief information about two-cylinder and four-cylinder engines. Hopefully, it will increase our knowledge. 